Seventy percent is for damage cars, as a mingle, as a impact for what you get older brother role. As a man, mingle, I will use this and an agreement to resolve your fifty year old boundary dispute with India State. The chief ministers of the two CSC Mantra Vishwa Sarma and Khan with Sarma signed the agreement in the presence of Union Home Minister. Amit Shah, the Chief Secretaries of the two states and other officials of the Home Ministry. The agreement signed today to an end decades long border dispute in a historic way for the Northeast Amit Shah said 11 representatives of the Meghalaya government and 9 of our sound were present at the meeting at the NHO office. Today is an important day for the dispute in the Northeast. Ever since Modi ji became the PM, he has worked continuously for the pride of Northeast, Amit Shah said. I spoke to the PM about the Northeast border issue. In 2019, there was an agreement between the armed groups in the Tripura. The pro Young agreement signed on January 16, 2020, benefited over 34,000 people. The historic border accord was signed on 27 January 2020, ending the 50 year old problem without disturbing the Ashan's format and without disturbing its original character. Then the Kirby and Long agreement was reached in September 2021, and today the Agreement. 70% of the water dispute has been resolved, he added. Speaking about the fact, the Mahalaya Meghalaya CM Congress Sarma said of the 12 areas of difference, we have come to an agreement with Assam on six areas. Meghalaya was caught out of Assam under the Assam Media Organization Act 1971, a law that is challenging legal disputes. Russian strike breaks a week, quieting Ukraine's might. Global. Russian strike breaks a week, quieting Ukraine's might. life. Seven days. Several days of calm in the southern Ukrainian city of Mykola came to an abrupt end around breakfast time. Tuesday, when a Russian missile tore through a government building, killing seven people. AFP journalists saw dust covered rescue workers pull two bodies from the debris, one of a man in uniform and the other an elderly woman, which they covered in a green sheet. But military spokesperson Dimitri Mentenchuk said later Tuesday that all those killed have been civilians. Governor Vitaly King confirmed that the region government office had been targeted. Most people rescued miraculously, he wrote on Facebook. Ukrainian president was immediately told down his numbers in a video address. As far as you know now, seven people were killed, 22 were wounded, and people are still going through the rubble. Donald, a retired Canadian postal worker with Ukrainian residency, told the AFC he has had his breakfast in his flat when the strike hit. I hear the push, then a boom, and my windows back in the 69 year old said. It's scary. We have been lucky here in Mykola. We haven't had that many explosions in the center of the city. He added. 